This is the table content of the assignment. These are the strengths of herbal farms to ensure good production and quality in herbal products. First, rich biodiversity. A herbal farm with diverse range of plants is more likely to have wider variety of herb medicinal herbs, which can contribute to a great array of high quality herbal products. Second, organic practices. Adopting organic Farming practices enhances the quality of herbal products. By avoiding the use of synthetic pesticides, herbicides and fertilizers, the farm can produce herbs that are free from chemical residues and have higher nutritional content. Third, expertise in cultivation. Having knowledgeable farmers who specialize in growing herbs is crucial for maintaining good production and quality. Understanding the specific needs of each herbs, such as optimal growing conditions, irrigation methods, and harvesting techniques, ensures that the farm can consistently produce healthy and robust plants. Fourth, proper drying and processing techniques. After harvesting, the herbs need to be dried and processed correctly to retain their potency and quality. Paying attention to details like temperature control as different herbs have their different drying time. If it was not done thoroughly, the quality of herbs will be degraded. Fifth, implementation of quality control measures. This involved conducting regular inspections and tests on the crops including testing for contaminants and assuring adherence to safety standards. By prioritizing quality control, herbal farms can guarantee the consistent of production of high quality herbal products. Hello, my name is Nur Izaitul Akma Binti Alfian. I am going to present five weaknesses in herbal farm which can lead to loss in the business. First, crop failure. One of the significant risks in herbal farming is crop failure. Herbs are susceptible to pests, disease, adverse weather conditions, and other environmental factors. If a significant portion of the crop fails, it can result in financial losses. Second is inconsistent quality. Maintaining consistent quality is crucial in the herbal farming business. However, variations in soil conditions, growing techniques and harvesting methods can lead to inconsistent quality of the herbs produced. If customers are dissatisfied with the quality, it can harm the reputation of the farm and result in the loss of business. Third one is lack of knowledge and expertise. Herbal farming requires specialized knowledge and expertise in areas such as cultivation techniques, harvesting, drying, storage, and processing. Insufficient knowledge or lack of experience in these areas can lead to inefficiencies, reduce yield, or compromise product quality. The fourth one is marketing and distribution challenges. Effective marketing and distribution are essential for a successful herbal farm. However, marketing herbal products and establishing distribution channels can be challenging, especially for small-scale farms with limited resources. Inadequate marketing efforts or difficulty in reaching the target market can lead to low sales and revenue. The last one is environmental factors. Herbal farming is susceptible to environmental factors such as climate change, extreme weather events, and natural disasters. These factors can damage crops, disrupt operations, and lead to production losses. For our first strategy, it is implement a good agricultural practices to minimize the risk of crop failure, such as regular monitoring, pest and disease control, proper irrigation and crop rotation. By regular monitoring, it is crucial to inspect the herbal plants for signs of pests such as insects or mites and disease and also with growth. Other than that, monitoring the moisture levels in the soil regularly to ensure the herbs receive adequate water. This may involve using soil moisture sensors or visual inspection techniques. The second strength is quality control and assurance. When establishing quality control measures is to ensure consistent and high quality herb production by implementing standardized processing such as harvesting, drying, and storing herbs is to maintain their quality and potency. This can be done by conducting regular quality testing and seek organic certifications to enhance the farm reputation and meet market demands. Lastly, market research and adaptation. Conduct through market research to identify trade, customer preference, and emerging opportunity in the herbal products market. Hi, I'm Mashita, and today I will present on five solutions to overcome weakness in herbal farm. 
The first one is diversity the crop portfolio. Instead of relying on single type of herb, consider expanding the range of herbs grown on the farm. This can help mitigate the risk associated with market fluctuation or crop culture. Second, improve quality control measures. Establish stringent quality control protocol to ensure consistent and high quality herbal products. Implement through testing and inspection process to identify and addressing any potential weakness or deficiency in the herb produce. Third, enhance cultivation technique. Invest in research and development to improve cultivation technique specific to herbal farming by leveraging modern agriculture method. The farm can increase yield reduce loss and enhance overall productivity. Besides, expand marketing and distribution channel. Develop a comprehensive marketing strategy to promote the farm's herbal product and reach a wider audience. Explore partnership with local health store, wellness center, or online platform to expand distribution channel. Effective branding, packaging, and marketing campaigns can help overcome weakness by creating demand and increased sales. Last but not least, invest in workforce development. Strengthen the skill and knowledge of the farm workforce through training programs and educational opportunity. A well-trained and knowledgeable workforce can improve operational efficiency, reduce errors, and contribute to overall success of the herbal farm. To sum up, Herbal farming has many advantages and potential benefits for people and communities. It's a good way to produce high-quality natural medicines. Herbal farming supports biodiversity and helps preserve traditional knowledge about herbal medicine. The strategies to protect herbal farm also must be implemented in order to reduce the risk in business failure. Besides, the weaknesses can be solved through many ways that has been mentioned before. By adopting herbal farming, we can use nature's power to improve health and well-being and create a more sustainable future. That's all from us. Thank you.